Okay, Pisces, how you doing? Welcome back, Keepers of the Flame. Um, yeah, I just did an amazing spread for Pisces, and it went away. <laughs> so, Pisces had an epic battle of uh, some sort of heritage, some sort of, like, old school belief. Sorry, I want you more like this. Okay. Okay. So, I'm going to redo it, I guess. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, Pisces. That was epic, though. I mean, you had three dragons back in your butt and everything. It was cool. It was really cool. Um, Yeah, you were just doing some reflecting. A little bit of Five of Cups energy was in there. You had the Ten of Swords, which is enlightenment, because you brought the mental energy to full accumulation, and you're standing out over the valley looking down. Listen here, Vicious Savage. Yeah. No. I'm, I'm busy. I have to do my work now. Uh. <laughs> okay. That's an Ewok and a Wookiee foot and a Fizz gig all in one. Okay. So Pisces. You were, be, you were excited. You were about to move forward. And then like... Six of Wands in reverse showed up, and I was like, hold up, wait a minute, you're missing a piece. You need to go back to the drawing board and really think about this before you bring it forward. You had to gain more knowledge. That was one of the dragons that showed up for you was more knowledge. So understanding that maybe you might need to, like, go back to a drawing board in some way, shape, or form, which was kind of consistent with your last reading, but you've accumulated those past history events like that had maybe something to do with uh, family heritage or something that was passed down in your childhood that no longer serves you or maybe even the community. I'm not sure. But I definitely got heritage there with being brought into question. And you wanted to take this out into the public in a really big way because you had two, two nights, the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Cups. So you were feeling this energy in your heart, heart space and your head space. And you're like, let's move with this. And the universe was like, wait a second, you need to get a little bit more knowledge on this because you're missing a few pieces. You got the Six of Wands in reverse. You've got you got the Four of Wands upright, which is oh my god! I gotta show you that card. You got this one. This is the Four of Wands in this deck. <laughs> you got that upright. You got this, uh, you know, not uh, upright. And then you got the Five of Wands out of the Mystical Moments deck. So you need to go back to the chessboard and make sure all your pieces are there before you start playing again, Pisces. All right. I hope that. <laughs> It freaking recaps everything. But yeah, you had the Five of Cups, the Six of Cups in reverse, the Devil card in reverse, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, and the Star in reverse. So you you learn from the past about putting your values and your dreams and whatnot, and maybe, maybe they were misaligned, right? All the Pentacles that you brought forward to the table got poo-pooed because you weren't going what you actually were dreaming for. I don't know. I will leave that up to you to decide. <laughs> but now we've got to pick a different deck, Pisces. Let's go with the mystical moments because <laughs> Pisces is just going to get two reads today. All right. What does the universe want Pisces to know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I sincerely apologize about that. That was kind of a cool read. It was like maybe an epic war was going to break out. Page of Wands. You're looking at something. Very intently, outside of yourself. She's kind of in an exotic jungle type thing, so it's not on home base. Right? And then the Eight of Cups, and then you're walking away. So you're going to look at a situation with more clarity. And I'm getting these butterflies here are telling me that there's transformation abound. Like something you're looking at very closely is going to bring about some sort of shift or movement in your life. And rebirthing with the dragonflies out of water, which is your sign's element. And she's bridging over here. She's bridging over this river, creek, bed, whatever it is. She's got the blessing of the sacred swan. Wow. But this is a great way to walk away. And you're leaving the situation better than what you found it. That's what ladybugs do. Right? 
they leave the situation better than what they found it. Ladybugs are so good for your garden. Okay. Really nice energy. You've done your research, though. You know, like, what's up. And the two cans right here giving you your message, squawking at you, being like, this is the deal with this situation. It's fine to walk away, but walk away in a peaceful way. Interesting. Ooh, 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 ooh. Man, Pisces. <laughs> Self-deception. That's not what you wanted to do? You didn't want to walk away in a peaceful manner? You didn't want to walk away. So you're you're thinking about it. You're not moving it. You're looking at your options. And we've got the Hierophant and the Knight of Cups over here. Okay, Pisces. All right, break it down. Ding all, dang all, ding a dong. Okay. Let me give me a minute to regroup because this threw me for a loop. Okay. So, hmm. okay, so there's four little eggs here, there's five, and then there's six. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, six, seven, there's two little ones left back in the nest back there. So eggs, you think this is gonna hatch, but it's in reverse. So, um, so you're hoping something hatches by walking away leaving the situation better than you found it. You're hoping that all of the knowledge or the wisdom or the transformation, death and rebirth, right, is, is going to accumulate to something. And that you, you've gotten what you needed out of the situation, but this is in reverse. She had to dump your eggs and look for other opportunities. But there's one here for you. This kind of sounds like a little bit like the other one with the ten of pentacles upside down. Your eggs are not, you, you got to dump your eggs because they're not going to come to fruition. Or at least you're telling yourself the, that they are, but they're not. Sugar plum fairies. Okay, so meditation, relaxation. Light as a feather, right? Get into that yin power, that yin energy. Slow down. <laughs> She's even the chariot. It, it it's a it's a it's a snail. So and this has come to a complete stop because it's in reverse. So okay. So you're stuck on this bridge over water because you're meditating on what you see. You're getting stuck on the bridge. Like you're you're starting to walk away, leaving the situation better than you found it. But now you're stuck because you think you have the eggs that you need to produce a new opportunity. But you got to go. You got this in your last reading. You got to go back to the books. And consult your inner child about what you're doing. About what kind of opportunities you want to. And the Knight of Cups, get in your heart space, Pisces. Bring it to you. Bring the knowledge to your heart. This is East. We got this. The, the Knight of Cups in the other read, too. And this is very mental. Into, uh, this is wisdom. Not just the Knight of Swords. This is wisdom. So, wisdom from the past. Typically, the Hierophant is a symbol or is symbolized by like a bishop or um, some sort of uh, religious hierarchy person, I guess you could say. Because whatever eggs you thought you got from this situation are not gonna not gonna come to fruition for you. Dude, that blows. Okay. 
Because I'm getting like you really worked hard on this. Like you, you did the freaking work. You looked at it with close eyes. You listened to what the the signs were telling you. This little toucan here. This little guy. You listened to him. You listened to what he had to say to you. You noticed all the signs and symbols around you. You took in the environment and did what you were supposed to with it, brought it inside and even filtered it through that. And you're like, okay, I, I'm just going to leave the situation, but I'm going to leave it better than I found it. And then you get stuck. What's holding you back, Pisces? Why can't you move on from this particular energy i can't i can't tell you if this is a person or not i suppose i could pull some clarifiers i don't know if this is if this is a space like there's either a space in your subconscious or your heart space because her robe is right here and she's on fire almost it feels like she's just she's very curious and intent on discovering something but i don't know if this is a situation uh maybe an idea for you uh, the idea of philosophy is definitely here, and it did come up in the last reading, that there's some sort of mental situation that you're trying to solve here and get to the bottom of and bring it into real life. Definitely trying to, you know, integrate because you're looking at things with curiosity and you're bringing them inside. So, like... If you listen to my last reading, you did follow directions. Go, Pisces, go, right? Okay. But you're you're just a little bit self-deception uh, on this. This situation over here brings some sort of fruition. Because I think you're starting to realize that, like, hey, it doesn't matter how, how close or how loving I hold these little eggs. They're not going to hatch. So you have to move into a whole new realm of possibilities and potential valuable offers. So, but you're seeing in your heart space and you're bringing your head with you and the wisdom that you've gained. So this looks like a setback and it very well could be, but you learned something very valuable from this Pisces. So don't regret it. Don't guilt yourself over it. Don't shame yourself for it. You learned something here. Something really important that you could possibly um, use on the journey forward in this new opportunity, right? As long as you take your head and your heart with you. Because your heart was not in this situation. And I'm getting that might be why it failed. Because your passion was there. Your, your mental and emotional waters were more on the let's bring this to clarity rather than let's bring this to heart space. And when it came to your heart space, you're like, oh, this isn't for me. But I can still walk away with respect and dignity. Now you're stuck because you're like, where is my heart set space? It's right here, Pisces. Right here. Where's your heart space? It's okay. You're doing great with it. You're making music with it. Your heart space is still here. So you might need to just kind of get out of your own way. I don't know. Let's clarify. Okay. So... So, when you're thinking about heart space and head space, and we want to bring that forward into the universe and create new opportunities for ourselves, how do we do that, right? What's the integration process? I don't think I have all the answers. I'm just asking you, so maybe you, you can ask, or answer that for yourself, right? How do we integrate these two energies? What are we going to do with that, Pisces? How do we bring that and heal the in space within us and feel safe in those waters? What does Pisces need to know? What does Pisces need to know when it comes to their in space? Ace of Wands. Okay. Even though this is the cup of fire, or the, the cup of fire, the card of fire, initial passion, desire, 
what I'm getting for you is don't overthink this. Don't overanalyze it. Don't. Pisces. Pisces. I love you. You are some of the most amazing creatures that have ever roamed the earth. Like, you can just, oh, it's cool. You guys have great energy. But you tend to, like, really hyper-focus on things. Especially when it's new. When it's a new opportunity, when it's new, you hyper-focus, right? And it, it could be anything. It doesn't have to be, like, a new love interest because you can be real creepers, by the way. But you know this. <laughs> we love you anyway. You can get a little teeny tiny bit like, so how do they like their uh, eggs in the morning? Or how do they like to, you know, uh, arrange the freaking pillows on the bed? How do they like, you know, what's their favorite meal? How do you cook it correctly? What's their favorite flavor of this? And what's their favorite color? And, uh, you know, what texture do they like? It, it's a real thing with Pisces. You guys go in and you're very romantic and it's really cool. But at the same time, check yourself before you wreck yourself. <laughs> That's all I'm getting with this card. Check yourself. Okay? You've got a lot of wisdom and knowledge here. And you're and you're very capable of, of walking away from something that you know doesn't serve you and not hurting it. So remember that, but don't lie to yourself about it. Hmm. Okay, I see it. It's okay to like want to be in that space. There's nothing wrong with the want. Just make sure you take your wisdom and your knowledge with you, and don't don't get bulldozed, Pisces. Come on. I only say that because I'm so protective over you guys' hearts. It's so pretty. You need to like. <laughs> Scorpio to Pisces. <laughs> oh, dude, I love you. I admire your passion and your your beautiful, wonderful nature. But what the hell are you thinking? <laughs> That's so Scorpio Pisces. Okay. He had to sign. And the Nine of Pentacles. You're going balls in. Dang it. Okay. You do you, Pisces. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here for this. <laughs> Pisces was like, I got this. Get out my way. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, Pisces. Do what makes you happy. Please and thank you. Okay. <laughs> what else does Pisces need to know? <laughs> All right. Oh, we got Oh, 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 oh. The Empress and the Five of Pentacles. Oh, child. Dang it, I told you. Bring and run. Yeah, you're going to run into some boss energy. Boss S energy. Uh, and somebody's going to be left out in the cold. I see. I want to grab my new tarot deck that I've just been like letting percolate right now. I just want it. But like, I feel like you need something a little bit more. Pisces. Okay. I, whatever this is, you just be careful, especially if it's boss ass energy. Like it, it could still be a dude, but they could have their nose up in the air, which might intrigue Pisces. Usually does, right? Okay. And respect the no. Respect the no. Don't be hiding in them bushes, Pisces. Okay, so take some, <laughs> take some time to sit in the sun. Let it warm you. If you don't have any sun, how about a hot bath or a shower? Add some herbs or scents to help you bring yourself back into your body. Okay, <clears throat> because I think once you come to your literal senses, that's what that's doing, by the way, when you put yourself in... You know, putting your um, body in hot water or filling your nasal cavities with some really heavily scented something or other. Which, uh, in this case, I would recommend some tea tree or some eucalyptus. Clear that mental space. Okay, Pisces. You know how to do this. You're good at it. Go back to it before you, you dive into this, okay? Please and thank you. <laughs> 
You might save yourself a little bit of something, something. All right. We're going to, I'm going to, I want to know. What, okay, we're going to get to the chair of the abyss. What does this person, tell me more about this Empress energy in the five of pentacles, please. Can you tell me more about what Pisces needs to know about the Empress and the five of pentacles, please. Tell me about the Empress and the five of pentacles. What does Pisces need to know. Jeez, eight cards. Okay. Mm. <laughs> the Five of Pentacles. What do you know? Pisces. Just a no-go. They don't care. Oh, jeez. Chow. Chow. Don't do it. Pisces. Pisces. Don't do it. Oh, God. <laughs> Need a cup? Walk away. Walk away. Uh, otherwise, you're going to end up in this. Yeah. Get some mental clarity. There it is again. Mental clarity walking away. Okay, this is this energy is not for you. Keep this safe and sovereign for now. Okay, stay in your mind. Nine of Pentacles. Keep your independence. Okay, keep your independence. Keep it. Keep what you value close to you and don't give it away. Bring whatever you value into the light. Make sure you look at your core values and like assess them with reason and accountability and write them down on paper. If anybody violates that, if anybody violates that, it's a buy Felicia move, okay? Because <laughs> their intent here is the five of pentacles again, leave your bum out in the cold. Uh, the ten of swords and this dude, this dude is holding a knife in his hand ready to either finish that guy off or, you know, torture him a little bit more. So definitely walk away from this energy. And the Eight of Cups. Okay. Okay. So Pisces, let's get you an Oracle or eight. <laughs> Me, you. What's uh, happening, Sophie? All right, where's the oracles? What kind of oracle do we need for Pisces? I think we are very good. Pisces needs some dragon energy up in here. What does Pisces need to know about this situation? What, what's going to help Pisces out half the deck? <laughs> okay, Pisces. Okay. Ooh, healing. Restoring hope. Okay. Yeah, I hear you. Okay, 18 is the number. Okay, I'm going to look at the bottom of the deck. Inspiration. Yeah, I feel like your fire is kind of being a little bit dampened by this energy. But I think if you keep it sovereign and stay in your nine of pentacles independence, you'll be okay. Okay. Healing, restoring hope. Hope springs eternal, and it is waiting for you to take flight. Even in the darkest night, the star shines forth to lead the way. Did you want to actually see the whole card? Okay. Hope does not expect anything, but rather looks forward and visualizes a day when the light will return once more. Hold to that vision and press, press on forward. Actively restore your optimistic mindset. Hope is on the way. Wisdom of the Dragon. Healing will come in its time, even when things seem the bleakest. And when you allow yourself time to heal, you will be refreshed and restored into new life and vitality. Tend to your wounds, learn your lessons, and actively take steps to heal and rebuild as you press on to newfound restoration. Restore, refresh, and rejuvenate. The Star Dragon Invocation is can you think of a time or area of your life wherein you lost hope? Restore that hope in your heart each day as you actively engage in the healing process. Build each night and look to the stars as a reminder. Even when it's dark, there is a light that still shines. And the constellation in this card is Pegasus. All right, Pisces, I hope that helps. Because it looks like you're trying to get over this situation still here. And then you're moving into this situation because you, you're you feeling this. You're feeling this energy right here. 
this is this is Pisces happy place basically and so you think that you're supposed to take this into a new situation but you do need to keep sovereign because you still have some healing to do over the situation because something from this past situation that you had to work through and walk away from with grace is leaving some old residue that still has you thinking that something's going to come of this and it's not but there's new opportunities here so focus on your opportunities okay keep yourself sovereign and once you're done healing then you can start considering you know engaging more with people getting into closer more intimate relationships okay it's not a not never it's a not right now not right now okay this is amazing energy who wouldn't want to be around this okay so if somebody's like giving you a stipulation or an ultimatum or making you think that you have to go and you know start a relationship with them when you're standing in this energy no <laughs> like no i can do what i want with my own energy that's my choice and if I need to keep it sovereign until my healing com process is complete, they'll wait. They'll freaking wait. <laughs> Don't sell yourself short, Pisces. You're worth the wait. Okay? Hope you have a good week.